Hi everybody, I'm recording on the A7R4 here. I'm recording in 1080p um, in the program mode, so the camera just kind of chooses everything. I set the ISO at uh, 1000, so it would be a similar comparison to the Lumix, which just automatically set the ISO at 1000 for the given light here uh, in the room. I'm using the Tamron 28 to 75. Uh, lens on it set at 28 millimeters. I'm using the built-in sound on the Sony uh, A7R4. So we'll see how this compares to the Lumix FZ80. Just checking the focus. Um, I have it set on continuous autofocus. So we'll see to move closer and further back if it's able to keep me in focus. Take a lens. See how that's working. Just one more clip here on the Sony A7R4. Now I hooked up the, uh, right here, the Deity VMic D3 Pro to see how much better the sound quality is using a somewhat professional mic. Pro's in the name, that means it's professional. Um, I'm, I'm just kidding, I don't know if that would actually be the case. It seems like a nice microphone. Uh, and we'll see, how does, how does the sound compare using a, um, uh, a hot shoe mounted mic versus the Sony uh, built in microphone. I'm guessing it's a lot better. The Sony internal mic kinda sucks. All right. So I have the FZ80 set up uh, right next to the Sony A7R4. Uh, so let's see how uh, it compares. I set this into um, also a 1080p high definition mode. I wasn't able to get the cameras, the Lumix and the uh, Sony camera at exactly the same settings. They just didn't have the options there to say exactly the same. So the settings are slightly different, but they're both in um, not in 4K video, but in HD video, since I'll be posting this on YouTube, and uh, it takes forever to render any 4K, so I'll just post this in um, in 1080 uh, high definition. Um, using the built-in mic on the Lumix, so we'll hear how that sounds. Doing a focus test on the Lumix. Coming in close. Moving far back, see if it's able to retain focus with a lens here. See if it can focus on that and maintain focus. Coming back, um, I have the Lumix set at 20 millimeters, but it also does crop in. So I think it crops into 28 millimeters. So I should be getting this about the same field of view on both cameras. Okay, I'm recording on the FZ80 and the Sony A7R4. Just a video comparison. Hold them both at the same time so I get the pretty much the exact same scene with both cameras. See how they perform in this bright light situation here. See how they handle the bright sun. See how their image stabilization works on both of them. Autofocus. Okay, we're seeing if this can record in nighttime at all. <clears throat> Not really, just based on looking at the screen here. 
uh, max ISO here, trying to just get anything. Probably if I go. So. Yeah, it doesn't have the ISO capabilities to record in the dark here. Just kind of make out the outlines of the trees. All right, now we'll see how the Sony A7R4 does in the dark. Not anything at 1000. Uh, so we can start boosting that up to 20,000, getting a decent picture. 25,000, 32,000. And we'll see how this video looks when I bring it into the computer. So I'm maxed out on the ISO. I must not be able to go into the extended range here. So I definitely can see somewhat in the dark. Probably a bit noisy, but... Okay, instead of trying this outside where there's just no light at all, let's try this in a uh, dimly lit room. I just have the one light on in this room. Kyle Walker skateboard there on the wall. Um, so here's where the sh lights shine the brightest. And, um, so my prints here. <clears throat> Printer... Let's boost the ISO up as we go into this darker part of the room, up to 3200 ISO. Some guitars here. Amp on the floor. Let's give it some, so it's in program mode, so it lets me do some exposure compensation to you. I'm not sure what exactly it's doing here, if it's boosting the ISO even up more, or opening I can't really open the aperture more so I don't know how it's really getting more light I mean not horrible is it looks how the room looks here image stabilization is good Let's see if they'll focus eh. I mean, it's so noisy, you can't really tell. Okay, now we're going with the um, A7R4 here. It does nicely adjusting. See how the autofocus does. Does pretty well. It's nice, nice and smooth. It wasn't doing so well with my um, uh, with when I held the lens up to it. But uh, going to the darker part of the room, so it's boosting the ISO up to twelve thousand eight hundred now. Pretty good low light performance. Image stabilization isn't nearly as good as the Panasonic with the little tiny sensor in there. Okay, now we're trying to get star shots with the um, with the FC80. It's picking up a star there, but I'm not seeing the nebula. Uh, boost the ISO up to the okay, max is out at 3200. That's just not enough here to get the 
and you can faintly pick up whatever bright star or planet that is, but uh, that's about it. And here we have a star shot, Orion, with the A7R4. Having a little bit of trouble keeping focus on there, but going in to the Orion Nebula. Let's boost the ISO all the way up, see what it looks like. Pretty cool. So here are my thoughts comparing the A7R4, a camera that costs $3,000, to the FZ80, a camera that costs about $300 new. Is it worth it to go to that full frame, expensive camera? It really depends on what you're going to use it for. So for the autofocus test, when I was just in my living room, eh, the A7R4 kind of tripped up on that. It held my face in focus fine, but when I went for the lens, it kind of screwed that up. Um, now I'll just try it with my phone here. I did find a setting in there that was more sensitive autofocus. So I'll see if it can focus on my phone better than it could that lens I was holding up with it now on that higher sensitivity, sensitivity setting. Um, but the FC80, yeah, it focused just fine. I was at ISO 1000 there, uh, held focus on my face and the lens just fine. Now it is it does have that much smaller sensor, so a much um, smaller equivalent aperture, so it's just a much larger depth of field, so it can just keep things in focus more. Um, the audio, the audio really sucks on the a7R4. The built-in microphone on the a7R4 is trash. It's garbage. It's horrible. I have the Deity um, external microphone hooked up to it now, and that sounds pretty good. Um, but the built-in audio sucks. The FZ80 built-in audio, I thought sounded really good. It was decent. It was usable. It doesn't have that, it doesn't have a mic jack on the camera. But with audio that good, like, it's going to work for you in a lot of situations. Now, if you're getting wind noise, that sort of thing, eh, that is where you'd maybe want to use an external recorder and then sync it up. Um, the image stabilization really sucks on the A7R4. Uh, it's really shaky just walking around. It was fantastic on the FC80. So again, that small sensor, it's got that little in-body stabilization, basically acts as a little gimbal there, keeping the sensor just uh, moving around with the shakes. It works out really well. That was really fine footage. Um, the A7R4, on the other hand, eh, no, you're going to want to use a gimbal. Um, want going to want to keep it on a tripod for stationary shots. Um, it's it's not meant to really walk around and film with just using it handheld. It's going to be pretty shaky video that you probably have to figure out how to fix in um, your processing after recording. Um, and here's where the FC80 really falls on its face, though. In any low light situations, that tiny sensor is just not going to be able to get gather light. Um, the ISO only goes to 3200 and adds so much noise. So noise is a function of, of sensor size. Or ISO noise is a function of sensor size. So it's it's impacted by that small sensor. So you get up to 3200 ISO, your image kind of looks bad. Um, and 3200 ISO isn't enough to shoot in a low light environment. You're just not going to be able to shoot in low light. The A7R4, on the other hand, with that full frame sensor, the ability to really crank the ISO, yeah, you can shoot in really low light situations and get pretty decent looking footage. If you are just shooting in bright light in the daytime, um, shooting, walking around, doing vlogging, anything like that, the FC80 is going to work really well. You don't necessarily need to upgrade that camera. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And take care, everybody. Bye.